All right, welcome back. Uh, this is going to be a uh, update on some track work I'm, I'm working on here in East Bridgeport section of my layout. Um, most people haven't seen this area of the layout yet. Uh, just to show you where we're at, I get the elevated uh, portion here, and then this is track four on the bottom. This is track three. This is the uh, this is the yard lead. This is the eastbound yard lead. It goes into the lower yard. All right, and what I'm going to be working on is redoing some track work here. This is going to be my Remington area of the, the layout, Remington Firearms, and a pretty big complex all the way down to the powerhouse here. And what I decided to do is this is the uh, the Remington siding. And I'm going to add a switch in here, which will go into this building here. Now, this will serve two purposes. I'll be able to switch out uh, this building, and also I can uh, park the uh, Remington switcher in here. So you have a little siding here. You get Remington siding. This here is East Bridgeport siding. It has nothing to do with the actual Remington plant. So it's going to be part of the operation where a train will come out of Cedar Hill and be able to drop off some either empties or fulls in this small siding here. So I can probably hold around, I don't know, eight cars at the most in here, but it's just another area of the layout that you can uh, switch out cars. So I'm going to start with installing these two tracks here, these two switches rather, and... Originally, I had the switches over here, but I cut them out and I redid this area earlier. But my plans changed again in this area, so I'm just probably going to take this track, put it over here, and just swap these two tracks so I'm not cutting up track. Um, and then it's going to be uh, this area here is going to be serving uh, Brothers Milling and continue on to serve Remington. This was a uh, scratch built I did. Uh, Back in 2013, I believe. That was a fun build. So, um, when I come back, you'll see some more uh, track work done. And then, um, probably uh, run some trains in here. Alright, see you in a little while. Alright, welcome back. So, the Remington complex track work is done. Uh, I did a little bit more than expected tonight. But uh, got the area pretty much buttoned up. So as a little quick review, track right here. That's the uh, east uh, east Bridgeport siding. All right, Remington siding, and then it also has another little switch point in here. at the powerhouse so you take a look at this this industry here we're brothers milling uh, you can take one car uh, the only thing I have to do is put the follow points in um, I'm just going to take a little bit of paint and just mark the rails so again if you look the switches are in I only had to use the Dremel tool a little bit so went in pretty easily Now, what's cool about this, see that track in there? When you look at it from above, you actually have to switch out that as well. So that'll be a challenge. There's actually, you can fit two cars inside the building. A little bit of a complex track work there, but it works. All right. So again, uh, if you're switching out Remington, you're going to have to uh, go out in the main and double back 
through through the uh, a yard lead to get in there, and then you have to come back and then switch out this. So it's definitely going to be interesting switching in this area. So already tested out the uh, DCC. Everything's working pretty good. This is just a uh, a mock-up building for now. See if I can uh, run an engine. This is the only uh, DCC engine that doesn't have sound. It's the first time a train is running on this area of the layout, so this is pretty cool. The Remington area is finally done. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the next update. All right, just to show you a quick shove into the uh, one of the sightings here. Alright, thanks for watching. See you at the next update.